Okay, dear students, I hope you catch the first lesson we studied and uh, practiced. And now, let's start the new lesson. Hello, guys, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Uh, welcome again to the new lesson for grade 12. I'm your English instructor. I hope you studied and practiced the first lesson we studied together. Inshallah, now we are going to start the new lesson for grade, to, uh, for grade 12. Let's get started. Uh, conditional sentence Jamalat Shartia Today we are going to uh, study and learn more about the conditional sentence What's conditional sentence? Do you know what's conditional sentence students? Let's study and learn more about the conditional sentence I'll be lecturing more about conditional sentence And uh, now conditional sentence What's conditional sentence? What do you think dear students? What, what it might be and how we can use conditional sentence and how we can set a conditional sentence. Uh, we use uh, uh, present conditional tense in English to speculate about a present or f uh, future situation that could theoretically happen. It means theoretically it's not uh, existed, it's not real. Uh, we just imagine that uh, this uh, uh, action will happen or these things will happen. This tense is used when uh, uh, when the action is either impossible, unreal, or when uh, or when we do not think that the action will happen, as I told you in conditional sentence, the action is completely theor uh, theoretically. We do not think the action will happen. Conditional sentences are a statement discussing hyp uh, hypothetically situation and their consequence. Uh, theoretically or, or hypothetically means unreal action, which is not uh, uh, real. We are just imagine. We are just think that uh, that uh, action uh, might happen uh, d there are uh, basically four types of conditional sentence and each uh, uh, conditional sentence consists of two parts main clause and, uh, and F clause the conditional sentence uh, 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 consists of two parts main clause and, uh, and F clause types of conditional sentence are four uh, types of conditional sentence are four: zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. Uh, uh, we will study all of them one by one. First conditional: I uh, I take my umbrella if it if it rain if it rains. First conditional: I will call you uh, if I work late. Uh, con uh, second conditional: If the bus didn't arrive on time, I would drive you to uh, airport. Airport. Third conditional, uh, she wouldn't have come if I hadn't invited her. Uh, today, I'll be lecturing more about the zero conditional sentence and let's learn more about the zero conditional sentence. The zero conditional uh, sentence describes situations that are always true. F has uh, the same uh, meaning uh, as a when or whenever. F is the equal. Uh, uh, of when and uh, whenever in zero conditional sentence or, ha uh, or uh, have has the same meaning of when and whenever uh, uh, take a look to this example if I go to school I get up at, at so on whenever I go to school I get up at so on uh, same time if you park your car uh, on double yellow lines you pay a fine uh, whenever you park illegally you pay a fine uh, if you come on time, we start our lecture. When you attend to the class on time, we start the lesson. If you study, you pass the test. If you don't study, you will fail the test. A uh, form uh, of conditional sentence, we use the present simple tense in both main class and in an F class in zero conditional sentence. We use from uh, uh, present simple or simple present tense in F class and main class and zero conditional. Uh, for example, if we get a train on, uh, on the time we reach uh, for the wedding. Uh, take a look here, the F classes uh, consist of uh, uh, pr uh, simple present tense and main class also consist of uh, 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 simple present tense. We can use uh, from auxiliary verb can, may, and main class. We are able to use this auxiliary verb in the main class. For example, 
if we get our recovery we can play again here can is actually work and we use it in the uh, main class uh, if you study your lesson you may pay uh, you may play game here we use from actually actually work may uh, okay dear students it was uh, our today's grammar lessons we study the zero conditional sentence just try to make your own sentences Inshallah, uh, the next day we uh, we will uh, study the uh, first conditional. But uh, now you must uh, practice and learn the zero conditional and try to make your own sentences. Uh, before we end the lesson, let's learn some expression. Uh, expression number one: keeps uh, keep one's chin up. Keep one's chin up means remain brave and keep uh, keep on trying. It means keep. Keep one's chin up, it means to be strong, to be brave in a difficult, in a tough moment. For example, I know, I know things have been difficult for you recently, uh, but uh, keep your chin well. Uh, but keep your chin up, uh, it, will, uh, it will get better soon. Uh, know something like the back of your hand. It means uh, something uh, or somewhere uh, be very clear or you be very familiar with it. Uh, know something very well, uh, for exa uh, uh, example, if you get lost, just ask uh, uh, me for direction. I know this uh, part of town like the back of my hand. It means I know this part of city very well. I'm really familiar with the, this part of uh, uh, town or city. Okay, dear students, it was the end of our today's lessons. We studied zero conditional sentence and we uh, uh, study this uh, useful expression just the only thing that you must do uh, with yourself at, uh, at home uh, just try to make your own sentence for the zero conditional sentence and uh, just try to make your uh, own sentence for this expression okay dear students it was our two lessons I hope you catch my lessons uh, just try to make your own example for the lesson that we study inshallah the next day we will start the new lesson خب شکر داریم امروز درس امروز ما بود امید که درس های گرفته باشین و بر روز بعدی درس جدید آغاز میکنیم تا درس بعدی به خداوند 